Hey y'all, it's B. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been slacking on the content, but it's because I had like a particular video I wanted to film and it just wasn't working out. So I kind of had to um, put that on the back burner and do something else. So today I'm going to do my Q&A that I've been meaning to do for like two or three weeks. I actually have something to do at one and it's 1242. Um, so I don't think it'll take me that long to answer these questions because it's not like I got like a ton. But if it does, then I'll just come back and finish it after I'm done. So I, at first I asked questions on Instagram like non-anonymously like and <clears throat> I didn't get enough questions that I felt like it was worth filming a video some of them weren't even questions at all they were statements and so I did like um the anonymous the not gonna lie the NGL like anonymous questions so I have some on there shut the hell up bitch you could I know you can hear my cat crying just think of my cat's crying in the background um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. So the first question is, what is your least favorite and most favorite thing about being self-employed? Um, so my most favorite, if I'm just going to pick one for each. So my most favorite thing about being self-employed, I guess like nobody can tell me what to do would be my most favorite um my least favorite i guess like if um if some i could be expecting to make a certain amount of money because with doing hair is very like up down depending on the seasons and part of the year it is and also like you're just not going to make the same amount of money every paycheck because I pay myself once a week you're not going to make the same amount of money every single week it's going to be different it could be like you know you have an average or like you have a good week or a bad week so I would say my least favorite is thinking I'm gonna be making a certain amount of money um and then people cancel or have to reschedule and then I I was thinking I was gonna make this amount of money and I ended up making this amount of money. So that's probably like my least favorite. Um the next one is what is your next tattoo? My next tattoo, I have an appointment to do something on my sternum. Um I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna let the tattoo artist kind of have like creative range and then I want to get some little stuff like I think I want something like right here something on my, like something small on my neck um so yeah my next one will probably be my sternum uh the next one is how long have you been doing hair I have been licensed since August 2019 so three years in September three, yeah three years in like a month the next question is, what do you feel like your biggest accomplishment has been this year? Mm, probably. Um, either winning like a local award for best hairstylist or. Uh, I hit a lot of financial goals as far as like savings and um like my weekly income and then also i did an interview for a nashville paper so yeah oh my god zara you didn't even want me till i started filming this video and then the last one that i got on like for instagram just the non-anonymous ones is not a question at all it actually says keep going hard at whatever you're doing god will continue to bless you 
So thank you for that. Now I'm going to go to the anonymous ones, which I got a lot more of those. I don't think I really had like any super juicy ones, but yeah, but I got a, a good amount. So first question is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done. I can't think of like the most embarrassing like the most embarrassing because there's probably something way more embarrassing that I'm not thinking of I don't want to out myself too much because my mama be watching my videos and she's a hater and, and I don't want to necessarily I'm just going to tell something that I already know that she knows that I don't but whenever a couple it's fresh on my mind because it's like recent but a few weeks ago I had went out with my homegirl and I forgot that like if I have a couple drinks and smoke hookah that the hookah just just I don't know it just does something to me and so I ended up throwing up in the lift so yeah we'll go with that for that question who are the most important people in your life right now? Well, um, honestly, at this point in my life, I probably have the most amount of like important people because, um, you know, like when you get older, usually you acquire like less friends, like you start dwindling down to just having like a solid like two or three. And I kind of was like at that point, but now I have like a lot of friends. Like I have a lot of friends. So I mean like all my friends and then my as far as like my family, I'm only really close with the only people I talk to on a daily basis is my mom, my brother, and my two nieces um so i guess they would be like the most important people to me right now and my friends i'm not gonna list them all you know who you are uh, wait i already did that one what goals would you like to see yourself accomplish in the last three months of this year Ooh, that's a good one Damn. Okay. What did it say three? Okay. No, it didn't say three. It said three months. So what goals? I'm going to just do three. Three goals for the end of this year. Ooh. Dang, I didn't really. Like, I, I have short-term goals, but that's, like, short-term. Like, really, really short-term I'm going to say travel, and I already know I'm going to do that because I'm going somewhere every month, like October, November, and December. So travel, these are kind of like my goals. Okay, since this is like super, super short term, these are just my goals that I always like have in the back of my head. So travel, I already know I'm going to do that because like I said, I already have like trips planned. Um, for the next three months stack up my money um I don't I'm getting my lashes like obviously I need like a fill but I'm getting them taken off because I'm not doing anything this month and I'm not doing anything to the middle of next month and don't have my nails on just took my braids down which there's nothing wrong with my natural hair so I'm in grad mode like I don't have my hair done my nails done like I'm chilling my toes aren't done like they're you know cut and neat and clean but they're not i don't got no french tip no white toes so i've been grandma so travel stack up money that's like another good small goal i would say um do some things around my apartment um like as far as like decorating but yeah three months isn't really like 
that's very very short term so there's not a whole bunch i can do in three months that are like big big goals next one is introvert or extrovert mm. i can be either or i feel like everybody says that but i feel like i'm dead in the center because I feel like growing up, I was always really, really shy. And then when I started doing, I was always really, really shy, but I always, I had a big personality around my friends, but like, I guess around new people, I feel like I've always been the chill, I wouldn't say quiet, but quieter friend, like, I don't know. I've heard that from people and then I also like feel like definitely from my point of view I probably like the more chill quieter friend when I'm in certain friend groups um I'm in like comparison to everybody else but when I started doing hair it kind of forced me to be extroverted and I think now I'm at a place in my life where I think I was introverted because I and shy because I was scared of how people would perceive me because I'm very aware of how people perceive me and I think sometimes I care a little bit too much about it but now I'm still chill but I think I'm a little bit more extroverted I actually sorry my my hair is just looking like really good from where I from where I can see on the camera anyways so I would say I'm split down the middle. At one point, I would say that I was more on the introverted side, but now I think I'm more on the extroverted side as I'm getting older. I'm not trying to keep up with which ones I've done. Favorite show right now. I haven't really... The last show that I sat down and watched was Stranger Things, and I'm done watching that. And before that, it was Clean Up the South. Um, I don't have a favorite show right now because one, I haven't been watching a lot of TV and when I do, I watch YouTube. So yeah. Have I ever cried during a movie? Yeah, sometimes I won't watch movies because I'll cry more about fictional stuff than real life. What music do you listen to? Um, I know everybody says they listen to everything, but I listen to everything except for like classical like jazz like opera type music um and i wouldn't be opposed because i love music so if you was like let's go to a jazz club i'll go to the jazz club like if you was like let's go to a piano bar i would go to the piano bar if you was like let's go see this opera i mean i've never been so shit let's go to the opera so i wouldn't be like opposed but my day-to-day -day, um obviously rap r&b and like alternative music um i got a few little country songs that every couple months i will listen to but i don't really listen to like country if i had to listen to like two genres of music for the rest of my life it'd probably be all r and b and or and alternative music because i love rap music but Ain't nobody trying to like hear that all the time. Like I'm gonna, if I have to only listen to one thing, I'd rather listen to some soft ass music cause I'll never get tired of R&B music. But sometimes that rah 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 shit, I don't wanna hear it. Someone say you're so adorable, I wanna squeeze your little cheeks. I don't know who that is, but thank you. Then, the next one said, let's get married for real. And then it's a little, it looks like a little light skinned emoji. So I'm curious to, it's probably one of my friends. Let's get married for real. And it's got like this emoji. At this point in my life, if you know, you know, and those are fighting words. <laughs> so love your life, but I'm going to have to decline. Who's the last person you texted? The last person I texted, okay, so the last person that I texted, not texted me. The last person I texted is one of my clients slash friends that moved to Louisville and her name is Isabel. 
So that's the last person I texted. Let's see. What's your worst habit? Overthinking for sure without hesitation. What was your favorite show when you were a kid? Mm. I don't know, but the first two that came to my, um, well, the first three that just came to my head, Spongebob Squarepants, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Those were like the first ones that just came to my head, so. And then the last one is, who is the last, who was the last dude that you texted? Wouldn't y'all like, wouldn't you like to know who asked this question? I don't know. <laughs> who is the last dude that I texted? I could tell y'all and y'all wouldn't know who it is anyways. <laughs> who asked that question? My brother. It's not the cow. It's not the cow right now. It's not the cow. <laughs> look and make sure that I answer all these questions let me see I'm just double checking I hope I answered those good and then some people they like slid up in my DMs and asked me questions but I'm not gonna read those cuz those were mainly not questions those were mainly like people shooting they shots but all right um that was fast that was probably a really short video but i need to put a, some type of content out because i haven't filmed anything for like two or three weeks my next video is going to be another mukbang because that video is actually doing like really 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 good on my page so it's going to be another story time about this old um racist ass client that i had um i'm fixing to get off here because I have a virtual call that I need to take. And I will be back with another video. That should be up next week. If not sooner. So if you haven't already. Comment, like, subscribe to your girl. Follow all my socials. And yeah. Thank you for watching me play with my fro. Have a blessed day.